Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Video Game Movie Month here on Reaction and Review. Tonight, guys, I'm checking out a film from 2008. That movie is Max Payne. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I have played a little bit of the first Max Payne game, and I and I honestly thought it was kind of fun. In fact, I am almost tempted to try to find a copy and play it again. Uh, I can also tell you that I do happen to remember this thing being friggin' advertised on TV, but I couldn't tell you a thing about any of any of those ads. I know nothing about this movie outside of the fact that it stars Mark, Mark Wahlberg, and it's based on the Max Payne video games. That's all that I know. I could not tell you the first thing about plot or, well, anything else. I'm really hoping for this thing to to be decent and the only way I'm gonna find out if it is any good is if I shut up and I push play and I'm gonna do that right now so without further ado it's time to kick back relax and check out Max Payne okay guys I totally understand it's been a long time since I played Max Payne I mean it's been well over a decade um I do not remember anything about angels and other such paranormal weird shit, and yet I have seen like angel like shadows at least three times in this in this movie. I honestly, guys, am not bitching about it because I mean I mean I'm not bitching bitching. I mean it 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 might prove to be decent, but when I jumped into a Max Payne film, I wasn't expecting fucking angels. Just saying. So there are a bunch of cops on the other side of that door. Only one of them is kicking at it, and he can't break it down. Oh, there we go. It took him a good minute, but he finally was able to kick the fucking door door down. I did not think, guys, that police precincts built built or er, used doors for, 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 for their internal offices that were so goddamn strong. It would take one man with full force almost a minute to kick the fucking door in. My God, well, you know what, guys, and, and I'm going to tell you, that honestly is probably the most interesting thing I have seen in this movie in almost the last 20 minutes. This thing is a little bit dull. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask this, and I'm really serious about this. Is this movie going to do anything interesting? In the next hour, because so far, guys, this movie has been trying, but oh my god, it is so fucking dull. Guys, I am in the middle of an action sequence, and it's still fucking dull. How the hell do you make an action scene boring? Oh my god. I, guys, was not expecting a movie this painfully dull when I fired up a movie called Max Payne. I really wasn't. God, this sucks! Well, guys, at least honestly, I am able to give the movie credit, at least now. Uh, almost a fucking hour and 15 minutes in. It's finally trying to replicate the Max Payne bullet time mechanic. It still, though, doesn't stop the fact that the movie is boring as fuck. But God damn it! at least I'm happy that they tried to work, to work that in, and it almost kind of worked. Alright guys, well we just saw a really awesome, really violent fucking shootout. And as cool as that was, oh and now we have another fucking angel, yippee. Well as cool guys as that shootout, shootout was, I fear it's a case of too little too late. And this movie has, and this movie's been so fucking dull that I don't care how good a gunfight is, it is not going to salvage this shit piece of a film. But hey, at least on the plus side, the gunfight was sort of cool. Well, guys, that was Max Payne. Let's shut that off and. Uh... You know, if I had to find the right word to sum up this film, pain immediately comes to mind, because this thing hurts, hurts my fucking brain to watch, because it doesn't make any fucking sense, and it doesn't even attempt to make any sense. It's a boring, pointless, almost plotless, slogging waste that just goes on and goes nowhere. Okay. Um, let me let me see if I can piece this story together somewhat. 
So Max is a cop working working in the cold case office. Uh, his wife his his wife was killed. Her death is itself a cold case. Max's old partner shows up for well. Max's old partner shows up after a random a, after a random Russian ru Russian chick is found dead with Max's wallet. Don't ask. It had to do had something to do with a party, and Max was visiting his snitch. Um, all of this ties into a drug that is on the streets, which was originally created as a super soldier serum, but has the side effect of the user seeing angels and at one point uh, max just takes just just goes and takes a double fucking dose of dose of this shit because why not uh and he goes bat shit he starts shooting up things uh our and our and and our villain uh, our villain is supposed to be a twist as, as to who the villain is at least when at least when the villain finally outs he finally outs himself as the villain to max the movie is trying to play it up as a big twist, and it probably would have been if the movie didn't, didn't, and I am not even joking about this, deliberately fucking announce that he's the villain, not 15 minutes prior, as Max, as Max is trying to get info out of somebody, a secretary calls, calls our, calls our villain and says that something, that, that something is going down, and so, and so, and so, and so our newly outed villain then, then goes and sends a whole shitload of fucking corrupt cops after Max, so now we know that he is, that he is the villain, they have, they have deliberately announced it, but then the movie has the huge pendulous balls to still try to play up him fucking outing himself to Max as a twist. Good fucking God. And you know, guys, the worst part about all of this, not only, guys, do we have this idiotic story about, uh, fucking, about, you know, like, about, like, a drug, about a, about a drug that makes you see angels, and a villain who apparently it's supposed to be a surprise, but it totally fucking isn't. The cherry on all of this is none of these characters has any fucking personality to speak of. Not a single one. I could not tell you a single personality trait across anybody outside of the fact that Max, Max is trying to find the person who killed his, who killed his wife and child, and that Mila Kunis' character is Russian. Swear to fuck, that honestly is all I can give you for details. Oh, and also, uh, Luda, and fucking Ludacris plays a cop for, uh, he, he, he also plays a cop, he's working for, he's working for internal fucking investigations. And he's trying to piece together the fact that Max's wallet was found with this dead fucking Russian chick, uh, which then leads to him trying to find out other shit involving Max and all the corruption of the police precinct and yada 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 yada. Uh, beyond that shit, I couldn't I could not tell you a single detail by any of these characters. I couldn't even tell you their names. I couldn't even tell you the names of Mila Kunis's character. I couldn't tell you the name of Ludacris's character. I couldn't tell you the name of Donald Logue's character. I couldn't tell you the name of Chris O'Fucking Donald's character. It is nothing short of a miracle. I, I even remember that Chris fucking O'Donnell is in this goddamn movie. Nobody has any fucking personality. Shit, guys, Max himself has no has no personality, but the only but the only reason why you know his name is because it's the title of the motherfucking movie. Oh my god. So guys, we have writing here that is just it is some of the most boring shit you will ever find. It sucks from start to finish. And you know, guys, when you're working with a property like Max Payne, you should not be boring, all right? You should seriously be flashy and stylized and cool and have a deep goddamn story because all of that was present in the original Max Payne video game. None of that, well, correction, no, 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 no. Most of that is not here. The only thing that they that they really picked up on is that this movie's flashy as shit. This this thing, guys, is the this thing, guys, is like the most extreme version of style over substance in the sense that it is 110% style. There is negative substance to be found in this fucking movie, and it is insultingly stupid to sit through because it has no real reason to be here outside of, oh, look, 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 guys, shiny shit. Oh, my God. This movie is that dull. And I could probably sit here and rag on this 
shitbag writing even more. But I have other things I ha I really have to get to, but first I want to finish this. Let's talk about the acting, shall we? As much, guys, as I hated the writing and the shallow, almost non-existent characters and our goofball, stupid dialogue, at least the acting isn't that, that, that bad. Almost everybody turns in a promising showing with one lone exception, and I'm going to sum it up like this, guys. Ludacris acts about, about, about as well as he raps. So, yeah, real fucking poorly. I don't know why the fuck you would cast a talent-challenged waste like him in a fucking movie lot light like this. You could have cast almost anybody else in that, and that role would probably have been a lot better, you know, suited. But no, 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 we are, we are stuck with fucking Ludacris phoning in all, all of his dialogue. Well, everybody else at least puts in some level of fucking effort. So I am going to say that the acting at least isn't too bad. Special effects. Special effects is probably the one spot in this film where the whole thing fucking shines. Uh, and this guy's one of the few times when I have seen digital fucking blood and it actually looked fine. Uh, and all of our fucking angels. God, why the fuck were there angels? They looked fine. Uh, everything guys here in terms of CG looked absolutely fine. It actually is probably the one reason to watch this. But that, guys, is not reason enough to sit through over 90 minutes of bullshit, okay? Special effects here are done very, very well. Uh, and then beyond that, guys, like, uh, camera work here is okay. The sound mix is okay. Uh, okay, one thing, one thing I have to comment on uh, is that... Uh, uh, one other thing I remember from the Max Payne game is that it took is that it took a whole lot of cues from comic books so much so that their cutscenes were literally just comic book panels and they were really well done comic book panels so so you would expect logic would fucking dictate that this movie would probably have some kind of a comic book feel and it kind of does at first it actually kind of sort of looks like it's trying to be a low rent version of say like Sin City or The Spirit or 300 in terms of just general look and then it kind of sort of throws away all of that to essentially to essentially look, you know, like a boring action film. Uh, mind you guys, there's a big difference between a boring action film and a somewhat decent action film. At least the decent action films are fucking trying. Uh, but this thing here is it, it really, guys, just stops fucking trying to look cool. And it then insists on going with even more fucking slow motion and pathetic attempts at fucking bullet time. Uh, and just all of it, and just all of it, even though it looks okay, it really does grind the film to an absolute screaming fucking halt. And this film, even though it's called Max Payne, does not look or feel like anything like, like anything Max Payne to me. So, yeah, guys, when all is said and done, am I able to recommend this fucking turd? Hell no. This thing, guys, I, I, I swear, guys, I went into this thing expecting a Max Payne movie. Instead, instead, I got some half-baked mix of, let's see here, uh, The Prophecy, uh, let's see, The Fugitive, and a couple other fucking films. And I, I get everything but Max Payne in a movie called Max fucking pain. This thing, guys, is a boring waste of, what the hell is, what the hell is the runtime? 103 minutes. Boring waste of 103 goddamned minutes. You guys could totally do better things with 103 minutes. You guys could probably sit down and smash your hand with a hammer for 103 minutes. It would probably be a lot more enjoyable than this goddamn thing. Now, Max Payne came off the Amazon wish list. The person who sent it in was Howard, and you can find his channel at youtube.com slash user slash heavybassx. And Howard, I thank you, because I was really curious about this thing. I was really hoping I was really hoping for it to be a high, high fucking energy action film that would sort of feel a lot like the Max Payne games. Instead, I get a dull, boring, tedious waste. However, I would not have known any of that if you hadn't have sent it in, and for that, I do thank you. Once more, guys, that is youtube.com slash user slash heavybassx. Swing over there, check out everything that Howard has. Now, uh, I'm going to go on Steam. I'm going to see if I can get Max Max Payne on, on there, and if I can't, I'm going to fucking BitTorrent it, because God damn it, I really want to play Max Payne. I... I I, I'm just trying to remember if the game was nearly as boring as this. I do not happen to I do not happen to remember it be, being boring. But also I would really, really like to play it again because it has been like 
over a fucking decade. So yes, guys, that also that also is another positive. At least at least this fucking movie is making me want to go back and play and play a game I I haven't played in years. So I guess that is a I I guess that is another positive we we can put onto the lingering almost non-existent pile of positives that I can throw onto this film. Anyway, guys, with that we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.